Nigeria is endowed with many natural and man-made tourism resources. But with the good tropical weather, beaches, waterfalls, game reserves, parks, hills and rocks, springs and lakes, museums, historical relics, cultural festivals, among others. In fact, I'm out, out of breath. But many experts say the sector has the potential of contributing to the foreign exchange earnings of the country. And of course, providing employment opportunities and repositioning the country's image. Now, it is no doubt that Nigeria has a rich cultural heritage that we should share with the rest of the world. There are history, beliefs, and way of life, languages, art, dance, music, dressing, food, festivals are some examples. But how well are we projecting them and packaging them for mm. export mm. and investment? Indeed. These are the big questions we'll be, we'll be asking this morning and seeing how we can address them. Absolutely. Now in the studio is uh, the publisher of the uh, E247 or E247 magazine, Biodun Kukbolui. Uh, Biodun, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for nice joining us you. on the show. Good Thanks. morning. Thanks. Now, when it comes to potentials, endowments, these are words that qualify us in so many ways. But what Nigeria has, if you put all of them together, are so diverse and so many and so big and so deep that you can't even compare them to what some of these other countries, like, like even maybe the, the, the UK or even other countries in Africa, but we get to hear, hear of them and hear about them more than what we have and all of that. What, where is really the missing link? Well, um, it is a problem of um, us not identifying the fact that uh, there are a lot of economic values mm. in all of this. It is a problem of us not identifying the fact that we have the best of everything, like you people have real out this money. And that is one great sector that we've not been able to look at that can add to our GDP. You know, and of course, uh, we fail to realize the fact that, you know, it's really now that we are facing crisis with the oil sector, this is the time to diversify. And one of the areas we can actually diversify into is this tourism thing. It's natural. It's just, it's with us. It's, it's there already. You know, <laughs> it, it's only in Nigeria that you have a perennial waterfall. Mm. It doesn't happen anywhere. And they're in the natural habitats. You know, so what are we doing? We are doing nothing. We are doing nothing to ensure that all this is projected, all these are projected to the whole world. You know, we are more into politics of not developing one area, not developing the other area. Let me tell you, one of the darkest points in Nigeria history was the Civil War. The relics of the Civil War, you know, they are just there, wasting away. What are we doing about it? Nothing. Well, I don't know if it's politics. There is a plan now to, well, you know, why, to house Why them now? Really why now? Right. So are we going, yeah, what are we going to say, or could we just say that it's a problem of uh, economic uh, laziness? Well, sort of? it's about the fact that uh, we felt too comfortable with oil, and as a result, you know, uh, we, we, we forgot other areas. And of course, because of the fact that our leaders, you know, they don't have that projection. They are not futuristic. You know, look, before you got this job, you have thought of several other jobs that you can do. That is about being futuristic. What are your options? What are your alternatives? You know, but when we face an area of trying to uh, you know, exploit our economic potentials, we just, that's where we go. You remember we moved from coal to oil, and to cocoa, and all these things, we have forgotten them because oil came. True. And now oil put us in a big mess. In fact, it was a messy one for us. No, I, if, if we have to move, because we don't have all the time, but if we have to, we, we, recently the Calabar Carnival has been, I think, it seemed like the biggest festival or anything that attracts. Street Carnival in Nigeria. Exactly, Street Carnival mm -hmm. in, in Nigeria, where if you're talking about anywhere to visit Calabar Carnival, we used to remember the Argungu yeah. Festival, yeah. Fishing yeah. Festival, yeah. Yeah. and uh, the Daba yeah. and all yeah. of that. Those are great now, you know, spectacles. Daba. Yeah, exactly. We all exactly yeah. we have that. Even the New Year Festival yeah. in the East yes. and all of that, all right. and parts of Benue is there. Right. But going forward, because we, we need to just uh, touch a bit of this, what, what can we really do? Is it the responsibility of government to take it up, or is the private sector to take it up, or the people themselves? What can we do, really? Well, both. In fact, even the local community, too. You know, if we look at the potentials, you know, it's really this cultural tourism. Mm. You know, cultural tourism involves people leaving their natural destinations to another place to go and experience their lifestyle, their food, their culinary source, exactly. you know? But the point is, are we selling this to the world? Mm. Even the, the, the way we dress. Are you selling it to, your, to Nigerians, first of all? Exactly. Is no, it you know, you know, if we look at the fact that... 
<laughs> you look at the fact that tourism involves people who leave the environment, mm -hmm. even within Nigeria, within Nigeria, and some Nigerians also are aware of some of these things available in other areas. You know, I remember I went to the Ankari Game Reserve as a student. Yeah. You know, I went to Kalaba as a student for the first time. So our children going on tour, are they aware of our cultural, you know, identity sports? You know, look, you mentioned Kalaba Street Carnival, mm -hmm. you know, and you took the initiative of one man, Donald Duke, to start all of this. A lot of people criticized him. Mm -hmm. They thought it was just another, you know, Jamboree. Jamboree. But look at it, it has come to stay. And Lagos is wearing a leaf, uh, yes. leaf now. You know, and look at what Lagos is doing now. What Lagos is doing is to point out the fact that, you mm -hmm. know, cultural tourism is the way to go. It's another way to showcase. And we have to realize the fact that until we put our infrastructure right, our roads, lights, and other things mm. right, security, mm. that is when we're going to get our, our tourism right. And it starts from what we wear every day. Look at the way you guys are dressed this Especially morning. Especially on a Friday. On a, on a Friday. <laughs> and it doesn't even matter. It's, not to be, it's supposed to be a daily it thing. with yeah. you. You know, what we wear, we tell us. Sometimes we wear, you, you dress on the street of London, and you wear your African outfit. You see white men, they want to take a picture. Mm -hmm. They want to take a picture with you. Mm -hmm. I've been to a couple of uh, sites all over the world. I'm some part of the world. And, you know, I always make sure I wear my knitting attire and hey, people tell me we like what you wear you like what you wear you know yeah i don't dress like this but i'm equally guilty but i wish we could dress like this if we want to really project our culture let people see what is good in us what is attractive in us even our food okay in nigeria and i want staple food everybody loves to eat is amala can't that's you in do the that? Jollof rice. rice. That's in the south. That's jollof rice. Jollof rice is not popular. Because, because in the south, in the middle, belt, in yeah. the mid, oh, no, pounded uh -huh. yam is everything. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but it's all right. Are we, it's beautiful. Are we, are we it's made, beautiful. Are we made an, an, rice an Olympic, as, as mm. an Olympic of jollof rice? Because your jollof rice will be different from mine. Exactly. Yours too. So are we make an Olympic of it? We need to make an Olympic that can sport. And it's quite popular now. You know. But now we are doing beer festival True. in Nigeria. True. Beer festival. No, we are drinks, doing we are drinks. drinks festival. And these drinks, what are these drinks? They are spirits. Drinks that are made imported from abroad. Not just spirits. Not just the local local There's even the beer festival. Listen to me. We, 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 we need to, we need wine, to no. find a way to export all of this. Okay. We need to find a way to export all of this. You know, it starts from what we do. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm very sure that uh, Lagos Street Carnival will make a lot of difference, you know, this time around, mm. because it's well packaged. Mm. Yeah. It, 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 it There's has, an improvement you know, from the previous Yes, yeah, uh, so, and of course, they, it, it's, it involves a consultant now. Mm. And we also need to understand the fact that uh, what business, economic activities that will surround this, you know, the local communities, what they're going to benefit. Sure. Until we realize the fact that Tourism will help our, mm. our balance of payment mm. problem. True. Until we realize the fact that it's, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's another means to diversify the economy, then we are not going anywhere. We need to see it as a business. You know, mm. Until we realize the fact that our taxi cabs, drivers, you know, they understand the fact that there is a way you have to be very, very cautious when you are handling your passengers. Mm. That when you because forget they, something... They are, they are part of it. Yes, mm. when you forget something in the cab, you know, you, you, you should so be rest assured that... It takes concerted, exactly. concerted efforts, really, from yeah. locals to you know, make it work. Oh, All right. You should, you should also realize really, the fact that our gateway well, we have to, to Nigeria. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much C4s. for your Thank analysis you. at this time. Right. Biodun Kupolu, you are the publisher of E247 magazine. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Talk about the potentials of the cultural tourism to Nigeria.